He was the first thing she saw when her black eye healed. He stood there. No longer a blur of a man instead of a hoppo of a being. He stood there, shaking. Feels more like Superman. Calls himself hero, even. Every time she reclaims her flesh for herself, he calls her thief. Them knuckles ready to split. Ready to mix his blood with hers until they walk into one. Paints the color purple onto her body. Call it love. Hold her like you said you would. Arms wrapped around her waist, call it passion. The night is so full of promises. The whisperings of broken vows don't sound the same on the daylight, call it a leash. Squeeze her tightly until you force her skin to make way for you. Wrap your chainmail fingers around her neck until you convince her to breathe for you. Tell her that you will love the Sophia in her voice as long as she is not outspeaking you. A lot of people say that too, that that is a reflection. People get into abusive relationships as a reflection of having low self-esteem. Do you think that yeah. you suffer well, from that too? Nah, I don't think that was more so my case because, you know, he never really put me down in a way where he thought, you know, he made my self-esteem bad as far as saying, oh, I was unattractive. He, or he thought I was beautiful, but he just, you know, he had a problem. And I think sometimes women get stuck on thinking we could change a man or thinking, you know, we he's sick him. and we could help him. And that wasn't the case. You know, a person like that has to go to professional help or something. <laughs> right. You know? That tongue. That tongue will face whiplash out at her until blood is flowing as much on the outside as on the inside. And smile at her bruises. Ignore the kaleidoscope of manipulation in her black and blue. He swears that he has never been in love with someone the way that he is in love with you. From the look in your eyes, you are one heartbeat away from believing him. Across the white tablecloth, he makes sure you feel the callus on his hands. Claims that he is displaying how hard it takes to love you. He holds it tight enough for you to think that he is afraid of losing you. And you swoon, heart skipping, beat after beat. This candlelight dinner still burning in his eyes and his smile. It is a dream to be wanted, to be sought after, to be chased after, to have a pedestal made of your own bones. Are you sure he puts you on top of it? Does he allow you to live outside of his grasp? Remember, even the most loyal of dogs must be kept in cages. There is a thin line between belonging to and being with. But you, you, but you have taught to love this tightrope, to be dangled in suspicion of broken jaws and broken hearts. Tell me that you love me, baby, even if you don't, whoa. It sounds crazy, but it's complicated. Yeah, I know, that's for sure. You got me infatuated, don't you, baby?